Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today we're doing something a little different but familiar. We are doing the Summer Nail Polish Rack hosted by the Nail Polish Hound and organized by Nika's Naughty Nails. And I am so excited. So if you enjoy these types of videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an upload. I'm going to start out by, of course, thanking you all for watching and all of the participants. And our first polish is Colores de Carol. I decided on this one because it was the polish that I sought out immediately as soon as the weather started getting warm. I feel like it's just the right balance of bright yet delicate and then the glitters inside of it are just so perfect. They're not overwhelming at all. They're just I can't even describe it besides perfect. But anyway, I was thinking about this polish forever because I swatched it and then I just could not wait to wear it again. And for those of you who are not into brights and are not looking for anything completely wild, bright, or vibrant, I recommend Dream from Ella Mila because it is one of those sheer polishes that you can build up. It's your nails, but better. So I feel like it will also go well with any glitters or toppers that you want to use, but you're not absolutely sure what base color to put on your nails as an undie. So definitely try this one out, especially if you already have it. Next is Fancy Gloss. <laughs> And it's a thermal. What am I thinking? I'm not even a huge fan of thermals, but this tri thermal, and I think it's a tri thermal. I say it's a tri thermal. It was not advertised as one. I liked it so much that here it is again. And I do stick my thermals in the refrigerator for like two or three hours if they're not transitioning when I swatch them before I put them on my nails. But this one was so gorgeous and so much fun that I even took a picture of my Cindy hand to get this one recorded. And we're back on the ones that I have swatched. And one of my favorites was this holographic polish from Starbeam. Its name is Ice Wraith, but I see it as a quintessential summer polish. It was just so much fun to wear and I really gravitate towards these hues, especially when I feel like I'm in a rut and I've already done everything that I really wanted to wear, aquas and turquoises and teals and anything in that realm that's not quite blue, it's not quite green, it's somewhere in the middle, works for me. And we also have Lumen Nails with Brandy. I think this was from the Peach Collection, I believe. But I just, I could not get enough of the shift on this one. I feel like it's a great transition polish because it's got that glow, it's got the green, and it just feels very transition-y for me. So I'll be catching this one later in the season. It's still a summery polish in my opinion. However, I also feel like it's just rich and warm enough to slide me into autumn in those still warm days. And we have Red Eyed Lacquer with full of crab abilities. What? <laughs> So remember I said in one of my videos or two or three of them that it was going to be a blue summer? I wasn't kidding. This is one of my favorite vibrant bright blues and it's just electrifying when it's on the nails. It just pops so well and then it has like that teeny bit of shift of like violet at the edges that give it something extra and make me 
feel like it's really special aside from its gorgeous glow and fantastic formula. So I haven't represented green yet. However, <laughs> this one was so good and it came out like in January. So I have been sitting on this polish and a couple others for months until I felt it was just the right time. It's so bright. Pistachio BSC from Bees Knees Lacquer wowed me. It knocked my socks off and it made me want more green in my life. But just these bright greens, just these super bright glowy greens. <laughs> and it was in the Sparkle and Shine box. Which, speaking of, brings us to Nailed It with Secret Menu. The same January, or I think I think it was January, Sparkle and Shine box. And I am a sucker for flakies. Even more so, Nailed It flaky formulas. I don't know why or what happens or how it becomes magical. I don't ask because... I can't keep secrets, so <laughs> I just sit back and enjoy it, and this gives me that gorgeous, like, it reminds me of a jellyfish. Don't judge me. Um, I just enjoy the flakies that much, and I feel like I would be absolutely remiss and not mentioning Strawberry Cat Pacino from the same box because this is the wildflower lacquer polish that made my budget walls come tumbling down because every time I see wildflowers, I'm looking for this kind of bright, this kind of vibrancy, this kind of like subtle shift that gives me so much. And I gotta say, wildflower never disappoints. So that started my um, collecting craze. Next up is Dreamland Lacquer with More Like Dr. Michael. And I liked this one because, again, vibrant, bright blue. That is all I want. That is all I've been craving this summer season. And it's not even technically summer yet. And I have been looking for all of these to be part of my nail polish rack. I want to wear them again. I feel like they're going to end up on my toes a lot, but they'll also be on my fingers because sometimes I go matchy matchy, especially when I'm that obsessed. Speaking of yellows and greens, because I know I represented one green and then I was like, I like blues with a little bit of green, but I also like yellowy greens and green yellows like this Blooming Flowers from MJ Lacquer. I love the Crellies from this brand so much and I feel like this one, the brightness is turned all the way up and I could not imagine summer without getting this one on my fingers. And then you can see in the flakies, it almost looks like there's some orange in there. So I am getting the best of all worlds. Which brings me to different dimension because I was talking about a little bit of yellow. There's like yellow and green in the shift in this rose color base polish. And then you've got the glow of those hollow micro flakies that just make it irresistible. I'm with the band was one of those polishes that I saw it in the bottle and I was like, oh, it's pretty. And then when it got on my nail and I started to see the shift, mind blown. I could not get enough of it. And I kid you not, I feel like it looks especially great on me in the summer. But what would summer be without a head turning polish that is so sun perfect that you can't possibly look away from it? Copperhead did that for me. I know I am an ethereal stand, but 
I loved this hollow so much. It's so strong that it showed up on my camera. It showed up in person. It showed up whether I had bright lights or low lights. That flame was present all the time, every time. And I just could not wait to wear it again. Also, I've got some honorable mentions here with Perfectly Suited by K.B. Shimmer and Secret of Chimneys by Moonshine Manny. Like these were another of those two polishes that they slid under the radar. And then as soon as I got them on my nails, I couldn't imagine my collection without them with Secret of Chimneys, it's very sunset vibes. It's got that glow and then a slight corally orange shade that I love corals at this point. I couldn't get enough. And then Perfectly Suited had like the yellow and some of the chartreuse and then the hollow micro flakies that give it that extra bang for your buck. And I am very big on my polishes being extra because I've gone through my nudes phase, I've gone through my neutrals phase, and summer is just not where I wear a lot of those shades. I just go for all the brights. And we are at the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like. Let me know what polishes are on your rack. And don't forget to check out the other videos in this collab. I will have them in the description box down below. If you're part of my nail fam, I'm sending out virtual hugs. Thank you for joining me again. I appreciate you so much. If you're new to my channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing. As always, take care of yourselves and each other.